Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video on how to clean the faucet aerator uh, or the screen and the faucet head. And, uh, and that's this piece right here and sometimes those will get um, debris built up in there and sometimes just hard water. And all you need is a, a pair of channel locks pliers. And what I did is I, I covered the, the teeth on this with electrical tape uh, so it won't scratch up the surface or the finish of the faucet. And what you do is just grab onto that aerator piece. It's just threaded in there and undo it. This one's actually got a lot of calcium and mineral buildup on the outside of it as well. But we'll go ahead and take that out and uh, I'll hold this up if you can see some of that stuff that's, that's plugging that screen. And um, you can brush that off sometimes pretty easily uh, with a toothbrush, but to get this really cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and, and um, take it apart and this piece will just come out and you can see this has got a lot of, a lot of mineral buildup on the inside, but um, we're going to take it apart like I just did here and then I've got a little dish of vinegar and we'll just drop it in there. Now you can use CLR um, or if you've got a swimming pool and you're comfortable or you happen to have some muriatic acid lying around and you're comfortable working with that, that's fine as well. But anything that's acidic that'll eat up those minerals will really help uh, help get that cleaned up and, and get that screen flowing better. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of agitate this a little bit and uh, I'm going to let it sit um, probably for about 20 or 30 minutes just to really eat up those minerals and then we'll, we'll uh, brush it off, rinse it off and reassemble it. Okay now that that's soaked for a little bit and the screen is pretty pretty cleaned up. Um, we'll go ahead and just rinse it off, make sure all of that debris is out of there, and then uh, just reassemble it. Just snap it back into the outer ring, and that's threaded. So you just put that up underneath the faucet and screw that in. And we'll just use these channel locks to make sure it's snug, it doesn't fall out on us. And the water comes out a lot uh, a lot better. Uh, that's it. You're all set. Thanks for watching and good luck.